They start from the engineering chemistry, the part of the chemistry which deals with the engineering materials. Today we discuss about the organic reactions. Organic compounds which are the carbon, hydrogen and its derivatives. Hydrocarbon, hydrogen and carbon containing compounds. So we see hydrogen and uh, carbon simple one alkanes then there are unsaturated compounds in alkanes the alkenes alkynes carbon single bond carbon carbon itself is the tetravalent hydrogen is monovalent and they combine with the very specific nature of the carbon is the catenation by which a long carbon compounds are formed so therefore, the organic chemistry comprises a number of organic compounds and they are <coughs> highly important in the engineering and chemi engineering chemistry, especially in uh, designing of different materials. For example, different polymers are uh, which are highly descriptive in the technology of any of the material, uh, technology of any of the respective materials. So those contain the polymers and which are the conducting, bad conductor, semiconductors, all of those have the properties. So therefore the involvement of organic chemistry is most important concern in the various technologies. Here, the today's topic is the intermediate species in the reactions. Reactions in especially in organic compounds. We have uh, already discussed about that the chemical theory of uh, organic compounds in which the especially hybridization role is there various hybridizations are present in different organic compounds. We already discussed about the hybridization process in which involvement of the different atomic orbitals and gives the respective number of hybrid orbitals. Here sp3 hybridization, sp2 hybridization, sp hybridization. So this was, uh, this is the part of the chemical theory of bonding. Here, the carbon-carbon bond, carbon-oxygen bond, carbon-nitrogen bond, carbon-halogen bonds. Those break down or converted into the respective uh, products. Reactant and the product. So reactant concern uh, which uh, a different chemicals are uh, different com chemicals are involved for the reaction and further uh, the those gives the product so definitely we have the value of reactant is important concern and their respective uh, conditions respective uh, conditions are also involved to complete the reaction so here, uh, different reactive intermediates are associated with the organic reaction mechanism. Those are uh, whatever the nucleophile, there may be the free radical, there may be the electrolyte. So different, different aspects of the reaction is involved. Electrophile, nucleophile, free radicals. These are the intermediate reaction species and those form during the reaction. So reactant, this gives the product. A reactant, B reactant, both reacts with each other and with their specific requirements of the conditions. The temperature, the pressure, the catalyst. So all those are the basic conditions where uh, the reaction occurs. So 
definitely here we have to see why this uh, uh, particular uh, this topic is involvement intermediate species in organic reactions organic compounds find very specific reactions as uh, discussed earlier regarding the conducting polymers the semiconductors the bad conductor polymers which are formed by organic compounds definitely the polyethylene this is one of the bad conductor of the electricity and then we have some uh, conducting polymers are also their involvement polyacetylene this is the conducting polymer in between those the semiconductors are also so for example in various technologies specific reactions are there as well as in the designing of the drugs in pharmaceutical chemicals and uh, those are also specific specific designing of the molecule building of a specific functional group here i can mention the functional group functional groups are those active uh, atoms or group of atoms that can change drastically the property of the organic compounds hydroxy group carboxylic group various functional groups even the double bond the alkene group olefinic group is also responsible to change the whole uh, whole of uh, whole of uh, the compound why ethane single bond carbon single bond carbon ethene that is carbon double bond carbon ethylene that is so ethylene undergo the process of polymerization gives the polyethylene whereas uh, the ethane cs3 cs3 c2s6 this does not undergo the process of the polymerization so a specific double bond is the functional group so organic compounds finds very specific reactions uh, in their respective so here we uh, the, to understand the reaction mechanism and behavior of the reaction so first of all uh, we have also know about the chemical bonding what is the chemical bond the combination the bonding the strength between the two how this can be explained and there are certainly when we have the periodic table where the group one that is the alkali metal group two that is the alkaline earth metal so uh, alkali alkaline earth metal and then they with the halogens the compound form will be the ionic compound where electrons are transferred electron transfer the ions are formed sodium cation this one the chlorine and ion so both have the ionic compound but in case of the covalent compounds the bonding is the covalent and covalent bonding itself describes the electron sharing how electrons are shared between the two or more atoms in a molecule ch4 methane in case of the water the very uh, urgent need for human the water uh, h2o ns3 ammonia ch4 methane that is present in the natural gas ch4 h2o ns3 there covalent covalent bond so covalent bond is formed by sharing of electron one electron from here one electron from here. then we get the electron pair so this electron pair is concerned with the covalent bonding here the third one and third one is also the coordinate bond coordinate bond also a type a acceptable the covalent bond in which the electron pair is donated but sharing is there uh, uh, electron pair is donated from one atom to another that is because he uh, because that molecule have the electron pair that is the lone pair so lone pair, uh, lone pair uh, electron is transferred coordinate bond is formed 
the from coordinate, the donor and acceptor. This one is the coordinate point. So here, ionic, the covalent and coordinate. So this is the fundamental of the bonding. Ionic bonds are formed because of the electrostatic force and they gives the specific compound sodium chloride, calcium chloride, aluminium chloride, potassium chloride, ionic compounds. In case of the covalent, organic compounds mostly, acetic acid, formic acid, alkenes, methane, ethane, ethylene, and acetylene, acetylene, carbon, triple bond, carbon. So all those are the related with the covalent compound. In case of the coordinate, that is the, uh, I think all of you know about that acid base, that is the Lewis acid was considered here, the coordination of coordinate on this form from acceptor to donor, donor acceptor. So NH3 ammonia, which have one lone pair of electrons that can be donated, the water molecule H2O, two lone pair of electron that can be donated. So lone pair <coughs> electrons undergo the process of the donation and accepted and that particular, the sharing the electron pair itself is uh, called as a coordinate point. Here, uh, whatever all of you know about the Lewis structure pair of uh, bonded electrons is by means of the dash usually called a bone. Whatever we have discussed, lone pair of non-bonded electrons are represented by the dots. So that is the Lewis structure formula in which we can represent any of the molecule. The case CH4, one carbon atom, hydrocarbon, an organic compound, carbon, four of the hydrogen atom. So we can say uh, the four of hydrogen atom and uh, four hydrogen atom and one carbon atom. So the Lewis structure of these compounds can be given with the dot formula. So what about the dot? Dots are there. And dots are the valence electron. So Lewis acid, uh, Lewis acid structure in which the outer shell electrons, in which outer shell electrons are concerned with uh, electro uh, uh, concerned with the Lewis structure. And one more thing is there. There is one of the uh, question of the octet rule where or uh, eight electrons are to be there in their respective C, uh, respective uh, outer shell. So here we can say uh, the Lewis dot structure clearly explains and uh, then can be correlates with the bonding formation. So here the bonding is represented by the simple dash and whereas the electrons, electrons where on the atom and uh, those atoms can be represented when a molecule structure is there, Lewis structure in which we can uh, identify the which lone pair is the bonded and which, lo uh, 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 which lone pair of uh, is the bonded towards the other one. So in a acceptor and donor concern, we can design that particular. Uh, so here, electron uh, Lewis electron dot formula can be given and can be explained uh, explain the chemical theory of bonding especially in the organic compounds. So in case of the organic compounds, we can say that the electron dot formula itself is one of the important concern. So we can say uh, the electron dot formula itself is one of the important concerns. So what we have, we have to see how the organic reactions occurs and how the chemical bond is break down and how new chemical bonds are formed. What is the magic 
what is the vitality in the chemical reaction what energy transformation by which new bond is formed new compound is formed the technology a specific compound a specific material is obtained by the these particular reactions so chemical reaction in which the which are the intermediate in the reactions so here electron dot uh, formula and explained the electrons present in the last shell of the valence electron all of you have known uh, you have to go to back to the periodic table the metals alkali metals alkaline earth metals and transition metals and non metals so non metal <coughs> here is the carbon so carbon one uh, we can also explain one of the most important concern and that is the octet rule octet rule itself is most convenient to explain the lewis structures as well as various intermediate species of form so various intermediate species which is uh, form during the reaction so uh, specific very reactive species of form and because of the reactivity a special bond is formed and a special bond then definitely we have the specific compound so what we have <laughs> the so here octet rule is one of the following concern and uh, uh, most important for that so here we can say that the octet rule must be followed and why octet rule must be followed because this can be conveniently say the specific intermediate formation in the organic compounds so here in one of the simple one and that is the water oxygen the electrons are eight electronic formula 2s2 what over the 1s2 2s2 uh, four electron then further four electrons are in the two piece sub cell where two electrons and in the px and one electron from the py and one for the pj hydrogen having the one electron so therefore here octet rule is well followed here one more thing is there that is responsible for that and that is the atomic size of all elements in the p block decreases as we move <coughs> so in case of the carbon ionization energy that is also removal of electron so these particular concern are also important concern during the study of intermediate reaction electronegativity as well as allotropy so here we can say how bond is formed what are the steps in reaction mechanism bond formation the breakdown of a bond earlier so that particular the bond is breaked into the two ways where covalent compound covalent bonding organic compounds organic reaction mechanism then we have the organic reaction mechanism what we have the uh, steps so how bond how uh, chemical bond is formed so in this particular case the bond formation or breakage may be of the two types symmetrical bond breaking and symmetrical and symmetrical means the homolytic fissure and asymmetrical fission that is the heterolytic fission so heterolytic fission and homolytic fission a breakdown of the bond and intermediate species are formed intermediate species which are most reactive one the nucleophile uh, electrophile free radicals and others and <coughs> also the carbene like that carbonium ion the positive charge on the ion carbon ion the negative charge on that nucleophile nucleus loving intermediate species electrophile electron loving species intermediate species free radical who are the very special free radical species in the whatever 
that particular concern with the sun energy. Sun energy itself is the most one. So where mostly the chain reactions occurs and free radicals are involved in the different chemical reaction. So bond is formed because uh, first of all the breakdown. So breaking of bond then further intermediate comes and those intermediate species comes and they react. How they react that depends on their, their nature and which <coughs> which reactant is present and which reactant then whether the reaction may be fast, the reaction may be slow and that is the part of the whatever the chemical kinetics in which the rate of reactions, rate of reaction is fast or slow. So rate determining step that is the, the slow. So that is concerned with the chemical kinetics. So we are there the rate of reaction, which chemical reaction is fast, which reaction chemical reaction is slow. So here that will be the concern, that will be the part in the chemical kinetics. So that is the uh, how the reaction is fast. How much time reaction take place? One minute, two minutes, or very slow? Very slow means where will we take the days, the completion of the reaction or the immediate reaction, the spontaneous reaction. The spontaneous reaction, then the slow, uh, whatever, then slow and medium reaction then very fast reaction so what happened instant reaction is spontaneous reactions if suppose we have the ether so ether when uh, uh, whatever the low boiling point uh, liquid that is the ether so this can be spontaneously react. there may be whatever the reaction and then the product is there all of you are well known about the LPG so reaction in the LPG when we ignite it the kitchen gas we are using the propane and butane mixture of that so propane and butane organic compound in the kitchen gas so kitchen gas we ignite with the help of the lighter so what happened that particular propane and butane where the chemical bond will be breakdown. down. So after breakdown, what happened? The growth of yes, with the oxygen, the process, the combustion, and definitely the reactant will be carbon oxides, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, and water molecules are formed by the combustion by the flame by the uh, fire of the LPG. So that is because uh, we are concerning about the reaction mechanism of organic compound. So this is good example. Similarly, in case of the diesel and petrol, where the reaction occurs and energy is given, and that energy is utilized for the vehicles. So reaction, the bond formation. So here, the chemical bond where the lone, the electron pair in the form of the bond, bond, uh, whatever the Lewis structure explained that the bond can be uh, designed as a, in the form of the dash. Okay, so electron pair in between two atoms, electron pair in between carbon carbon, in between carbon hydrogen in the LPG. LPG is the propane, three carbon and four carbon alkanes. So here you can say that is the reaction. So here the bond is breakdown. down. So two ways. What are the two ways? One is the homolytic, another is the heterolytic. So in this particular case, whether a homolytic fission, homolytic breakdown of the uh, chemical bond occurs. So definitely there will be a free radical 
is there because the bonding electron pair and that particular electron pair go to both uh, of the atom so that is the free radical here one most important thing is the octet rule we can follow we can use the octet rule only seven electrons are there in case of the free radical for example methyl free radical now if the breakdown is of heterolytic fission so in case of the heterolytic fission the unsymmetrical breakage of uh, the bond here they on one product uh, one electron pair go to their one product and therefore ions are formed definitely the definition of ion where the positive or negative charge is there so what happened the electron pair of uh, covalent bond and that undergo uh, the process of the ionization because the bond is breakdown with the unsymmetrical way and unsymmetrical way this is the heterolytic fission so here the ions are formed carbon anion carbon cation that will be uh, the methyl carbonium ion then the methyl carb anion so these are the uh, un, uh, the ionic species so reaction may be whatever that reaction may be use of the free radical as in case of the most of the alkanes where the free radical reactions is there for example methane reacts with the chlorine the formation of methyl chloride so that is the whatever we have now uh, the bond is then further the bond is formed so symmetrically how the bond will be the mix making radicals one bonding electron is donated by each of the reactant so here the formation of the weather the symmetrical bond making and then in another case unsymmetrical bond making this can be explained here so whatever here the electron pair so in case of the symmetrical electron pair from the a atom from the b atom and where is the in unsymmetrical the electron pair is donated so here a is the acceptor and b is the donated so now we can come towards the most important concern of the uh, with the help of the homolytic fission we get the new electron uh, the free radicals so methane undergo the process of the free radical generation methyl free radical is formed because carbon hydrogen the bonding between the carbon hydrogen that electron pair undergo the process of the homolytic fission where the methyl free radical is obtained but in case of the ionic we have the two ways the electrophile and the nucleophile these are also important concern in the organic chemical reaction electrophile the non electron electrophile electron loving species and electron nucleophile nucleus loving species so love with each other towards electron electrophile electron loving and so they go towards the electron. nucleophile goes towards the nucleus so electron itself loving so which will, which will be love between the positive and negative this is the concept atomic structure the nucleus then the shells atomic orbitals then uh, sub cells then shell principal quantum number azimuthal quantum number magnetic quantum number so that is the atom structure in in nucleus positive charge protons are there where as the neutral 
neutrons are also there. So, especially the nucleus having the whole positive charge. Carbon, because of the six electrons, then there are six of the proton, then six of the neutron. But in case of the neutron, those are the chargeless. So what happened in case of the carbon inside the nucleus, there is six positive charge. So nucleophile means nucleus loving because that can be attracted towards the nucleus and nucleus is having the totally the positive charge. So nucleophile are the nucleus loving. Electrophile, electron loving. So electron loving and nucleophile. Nucleus loving and then, so the both are the reverse in that. So nucleus loving will be having the electron and electron loving having the positive charge. So how we get the positive charge and negative charge that can be very easily whatever the atom is the neutral and if any one electron is added that is the electron negative charge. So negative charge attached toward the positive charge so that will be whatever the positive charge is in the nucleus. So nucleus loving. And in case of the negative, that is the electrophile. So here, nucleophile as well as electrophiles are formed. So you can see the screen, the electrophile and electron pair species, this combines with nucleophile and electron rich species and electrophile is a Lewis acid. We have already discussed in the acid base concept where the concept or the theory that is the Lewis acid concept. In case of the Lewis acid, the electrophile itself is the Lewis acid because that is electron loving. So electron rich, electron poor. So here the Lewis acids are those compounds electron pair acceptor because they have the scarcity of the electrons. So electron pair is attracted and that is the Lewis acid here and the nucleophile is the Lewis base. The combination is indicate the which the curve arrow from the nucleophile. So here we can say the curve arrow shows the electron moves from B negative to A positive. So that is the nucleophile nucleus loving the negative charge. Electrophile, electron poor. So that is the positive charge. So electron, so here the curved structure shows that the electron moves from B A. This can be explained because of, and then the electron that moves from the B negative to A positive, and this will end from a new covalent bond. This is the reaction completion. Reactant, after their certain the conditions, the bond breaking and after bond breaking, what will be the fall? The new bonds are formed. A new chemical compounds are invented because of this. So that is the innovation. That is the great idea. How we can have the new organic compounds. That is the reaction condition. That is the reaction mechanism. That is the formation of intermediate species. The formation of whether electrophile, nucleophile or free radical. So this is the, our object to learn and to get the innovates in designing of the different organic compound. For example, different disease treatments and the medical issue where specific medicines are required or I can say that the synthesis of insulin in the laboratory. So laboratory, uh, the, uh, the uh, insulin, that is the pancreas of our body that is related with the diabetes, that is related with the metabolism. So in that particular case, we have to see that particular matter. So there, the designing of the insulin. So that will be possible only without 
to understand the intermediates present in the uh, reactant in the reactant and then those intermediate species in uh, are responsible for the respective so for the formation of the insulin hormone in the laboratory the structure of insulin we can find out and then similarly those specific insulin can be designed we can be formed so here the thing is the uh, so now the one most thing is or oh, letter of uh, the free radical one species the another nucleophile then we have the electrophile so electrophile nucleophile and already we have uh, the formation of the free radical so free radical one species okay so uh, however there are other certain uh, intermediate species are there but mostly the electrophile the nucleophile then the free radical so these are the specific intermediate uh, intermediate species and which are responsible to give the respective compound respective covalent compound so drugs can be designed so hormones can be designed and because we have to find out first of all those hormone structure and their compare their various functional groups are attached for example if suppose we want to prepare vitamin e and so the natural vitamin E, we have to know that structure and then step by step we can make the vitamin E, whatever different hormones can be synthesized. Recently in the case of the pandemic, so different experiments were done and different chemical bonds are break down and new bonds are formed. Whatever in case of the vaccine, whatever that. So all those concerns, the intermediate is C, electrophile, the nucleophile and the free radical. But there are also uh, others and uh, we can see that uh, can we, we have to see in the carbine. This is the, also the intermediate species. You can say octet rule in case of the carbine that is most different as earlier electron deficient carbine. Carbine, the divalent carbon compound. Divalent means there uh, the valency is of the two. So divalent organic compounds and that can be explained. So carbon atom is linked to two adjacent groups by covalent bonding. So here the centrally placed carbon. Here we have to see the atomic structure of carbon. There are the six electrons, one in the first cell, two in the second four electrons. So out of those four, if two electrons are used for the bonding with the other elements, for example, carbon and uh, here four electrons and two electrons are covalently bonded with the hydrogen. So CH2 will be formed and then the two re electron remains there. So that is the carbon. So carbon atom is linked to two adjacent groups by covalent bonding and carbene is also one of the intermediate species in the organic reaction and that is also specified for the specific, very specific reaction. The carbene itself is a neutral, having two free electrons. A total of six electrons are there in case of the carbene and this does not follow rule and this carbene itself is the electron deficient so the, now we can say addition elimination these are the few examples in general we can look at what occurs and why try to learn how it happened the common pattern describe the change in addition reaction whatever the elimination so there may be these particular addition and then removal Electric elimination reaction. So we have to check one of the question, and uh, that is the learning check. Which of the following is expected to be the washed nucleophile? NS3, H2, 
BH3, electro nucleophile, nucleus loving species, and these are the specific compounds and uh, which one will be the worst electrophile. Electrophile, but in that particular worst. So we have to see, we can find out the ammonia, one mole, water, and BS3, then ethylene and phosphate. So here the answer itself is the BS3 because of that, that is the first nucleophile and uh, uh, where we can say in case of the ammonia, there is the electron pair and uh, easily sp3 hybridization is there so nucleus loving for there are the electron in case of the bs3 there are very specific bs3 is there already this is electron deficient but this is expected to be worst electrophile as compared to other this one is the another reaction and here the chemical bond the carbon, carbon double bond, carbon, CH2, CH, double bond CH, and CH3. What is this? This is propylene. Carbon 3, hydrogen 6, the molecular formula, organic compound, CH3, CH, double bond CH2. So this one itself is the what we have, this is one of the reaction. So what type of reaction occurs? This is the question. And what will be the answer? So see this particular thing. Elimination. Which one? The correct answer. A rearrangement. Substitution. And addition reaction. So you have to decide. Elimination, rearrangement, substitution, addition, or none of these. The answer is the addition reaction. Why this type of the electrophilic addition reaction? In this particular case, what we have, we have to see the electrophilic addition reaction. And how this occurs? Because H positive and Cl negative. Okay. So here, the addition of hydrogen and chloride and formation of this one is the electrophilic addition reaction. So H positive, that is the hydrogen cation, that is the proton. And that proton itself is electron loving. So that is the electrophile. So here SCL will be added to the propene. Uh, so overall we can say that there are the four major intermediate species and which are the responsible responsible for uh, uh, responsible for various organic reactions so we can say the intermediate species and the intermediate species are the first one the ionic species Ionix 1, Ionix R, the whatever, Ionic itself, and uh, uh, we can say the Ionic species, uh, whatever in the case, the H positive hydrogen cation, and this is the electrophile. So, in this case, whatever the Ionic species and the electrophile is formed or the nucleophile. So that is that depends on the reaction condition and in this particular case that is the nucleophile. So nucleus loving species where the electron rich is concerned. So whether that is in the form of the electron pair, so nucleophile, nucleus loving species, one thing, electrophile, electron loving species, so where the bond is breakdown and then the intermediate species are formed whereas one more and that is the example and that is concerned with the free radical so free radicals are where one uh, uh, whatever the atom goes to their respective atom and this will form the 
free radical. So certainly uh, in many of the organic reactions, there are the free radical addition reaction. One more is the carbene. This is more less stable. Uh, sorry, this one is the six carbon atom, six electron species. And so we can see six electron species, seven electron species, then eight electron species. That is the octet rule. If eight electrons are there, the octet is come. So three nucleophile, electrophile, free radical, and then we have the carbon. So carbon having the six electron. Whatever the carbon, this is a neutral and there is no charge. Whereas the electrophile having the charge, the nucleophile having the charge, but free radicals, free radicals have not. So overall we can say, and then further, the, there is the addition, substitution, and depends on the reaction condition. So there are the re rearrangement reactions also, the formula, the whatever the structure itself, how we can design. I have discussed about the formation, how we can synthesize the laboratory, uh, uh, the insulin, the different hormones, what is the vitamins, those particular specific vitamins can be manufactured in the laboratory and those can be give a synthetic ways. So here, because of the most important concern of the, they are the functional group as well as the designing of the functional group. So overall, a specific intermediate species of organic compounds are responsible for different product formation, whatever the specific drugs, the specific medicine we require, the present context of the pandemic, we have lots of chemicals, lots of organic compounds were investigated and their reactions, the bond formation, the bond was formed, how that particular bond and those are because of the intermediate reaction. Okay, so I uh, suppose that uh, all of you have learned a uh, number of reactive intermediate species and their significance.